everybody welcome to a new video in today's video we are gonna be playing with the move so let's just turn it on and see what we can make with it I have this cool idea that I put some of it down here and we are just going to develop it and I'm making this video because many people have asked me to make more move content so here I am delivering all right so as you see I have quite so many sets right here each of these color is a different set and I was working on this one so let's go to it I have uh, only the four default tracks I have a lo-fi piano which I really like the sound of it and I set this scale to inky lydian and C so this is C lydian which uh, F sharp Alright, so now that we have that set, I have this chord progression that is something like and it goes on and on. Here I like to play with the attack and the release to keep it tight. As you see this is maybe too tight. But this is too loose. So something like this. Maybe we can have some filter. And then we can add an effect by going into the main menu. And going here. Now right now it's chorus, but let's change it to reverb. This reverb sounds nice. Let's take off the redux and put some some delay. This starts sounding like something. So now I have this mute everything that is not the kick so you can see the progression okay now let's have kick and snare now one hat now the last snare no sorry this is another kick Alright, so that's how it got started. So now I think we should start thinking of some bass. It's better to not have such a complex pattern in the bass. So maybe we can stick to only one note and use the bass more like for the groove, at least at this point in the track. You know, something like that, very simple. That's it. That's it, nothing else. Alright, so now let's try to find some lead. I mean, this sound really sucks for this. I think sometimes my trick is when I want a lead, at least in my style of music, I rather not to go to the lead section because those sounds tend to be too strong or too aggressive for my taste. So sometimes I just like better to go to the keys section or go to the strings and that can also act as a, some sort of lead and they sound softer. This one, this one sounds better. I got a bit more plucky. This one, this one would be better. All right, so that was soon jamming, but let's record something. You know, when I don't know what to play, sometimes what I just like to do is to play some random notes in the scale, quantize, and then just hope for the best. So let's. Just do that. Okay, 
so let's quantize it. So that can be something that is going on in the background. So if I take a lot of frequency down, filter cutoff. But uh, the, the center of the zone is really this these chords. That is the center, man. Actually, what I'm thinking is that since that is so important, why not follow the upper melody of the chords with this little synthesizer? Okay, let's do that. alignment between the two that's totally fine okay let's go back to the drums let's revise it let's make a new pattern actually let's copy and paste the pattern and now let's maybe delete these ones maybe these ones too Good old Q14. Let's maybe make this a little longer. Nice. So, what I do sometimes is to take my good old guitar and maybe have a little junk with what I'm making, right? something like that simple and sometimes I come with very short leaks that I like and what I do is to put that into this pad so now I put some so, you know so just simple chords a good old C major 7 so I put that I put something like Something like that, so I also put So, you know, I just put stuff like that and now so, You know, it's like making the chops before actually putting them here and that, that is one of my main critiques to able to move that is a sampling You know, I don't like very much how the sampling works especially when you want to sample live instruments but it's workable if you do it like that so you know you just sample the chops that you want you don't really sample something long and then chop it you can also do that but you can't really do it while you play because you need to to, to press the pads on the move another option would be to copy and paste the same audio audio file in different pads and then uh, changing the start point but that's not really convenient so I'll just rather do it like that when I sample guitar it's a different story if you're sampling something like a different groove box or if you're sampling a record it's much better if if that is your use case but know that if you are sampling a live instrument it's not that good now I want to put my chops into this nice pattern we can go here normally when you play a chord if you want to play it chromatically it's a little bit of a mess because 
you're going totally out of scale. But know that if you play a fifth, that normally works. So now what we can do is to double this pattern right here. And now this last step, we can delete it. And you know now, it feels like we are kind of building a B section. So now I can make another pattern for this one, the chords. Actually, I can just delete it. Okay, this sounds nice, right? So now let's go to the keyboard. So that is the chord that is playing. Keep the wrist and just play that, right? So let's quantize. That is a nice B section we just built. And now we can try to have the um, Delete or this plucky synthesizer to do something else. Let's go up. So this can be some sort of like a plucky ear candy thing. So let's just record something. Now let's quantize and see what it did. So that's the B section, but now we can go back to the A section, just like. Ah, I'm liking this man, I'm digging this. Yeah, that is some of my thoughts about able to move. This is how I like building tracks. I give you little tips about how to sample guitar in a more convenient way. I love this groove box. There are things to improve for sure, but I like it's a I think it's a very nice self-contained package and it's such a nice thing to play with. And the best thing is that of course everybody knows that, but I don't get tired of saying how awesome that is, but you can export this to Ableton just like that. And to me, that is such a good selling point. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you in the next one. Peace.